New at 11, a doctor is supposed to heal you, not kill you, but four Kokomo doctors are accused of doing just that. Our TV6 just talked to a woman who says her husband died after receiving care from a medical center, which is the focus of a state investigation. Our TV6 anchor Erica Fly joins us now with this shocking story. Erica. Todd and Jenna, the Attorney General's office has taken action to stop the doctors from practicing, saying all four pose a clear danger to their patients and the public. I think it's just really horrible. Cindy Malaby is very familiar with Wagner Medical Center, and she's not surprised some doctors there are accused of overprescribing pain medication and causing numerous patient deaths. I know that from my own personal because my husband went there and he passed away. That was five years ago. Malaby didn't provide details of her husband's death, but tells RTV6 he was on painkillers prescribed by a doctor at Wagner Medical Center. Now, the Indiana Attorney General is seeking to temporarily suspend the licenses of four Wagner Medical Center physicians, Dr. Don Wagner, his wife, Dr. Marilyn Wagner, Dr. William Terpstra, and Dr. Robert Brewer, not pictured here, for dangerous prescribing practices and unsafe drug mixes. Our concern is where opiates are used for pain management purposes, whether they're contributing to or maintaining addictions or contributing or causing deaths in patients who are inappropriate to receive opiate management. The AG's office says its investigation revealed high prescribing rates for controlled pain medications and numerous patient deaths resulting from multiple drug toxicity. Wagner Medical Center has an office in Kokomo and in Burlington. Malaby says some doctors at the medical center have a reputation around town. If you want it, they'll, they'll give it to you. They don't really, you know, you could go in for blood pressure and say, well, I've got this back pain, and they'll start addressing that. The medical licensing board will consider all four of the petitions for suspension at its next meeting on March 27th. Todd.